If you ask me, there's no such thing as too much behind the scenes content. So I feel like we should keep the good times rolling. So um, what have you got up your sleeves for us, Lauren? Well, I am so excited to take you to a place that I think all fans are dying to see. It's a key spot at the core of the Witcher universe. Join me on a tour of Kaer Morhen that touches upon the Keep's lore and visual style across 3D and 2D and live action formats from the games, the series, and the anime film. Come on inside. Creating Kaer Morhen for season two has been quite the adventure. We have worked so hard to bring this ancient keep to life, the place where witchers return each winter to rest and restore. I'm excited to welcome you all, legacy fans and new audiences alike, home to Kaer Morhen. Over 1,000 years old, this building has seen more than its fair share of danger. Each column and stone tells the story of how witchers endured amid the dark history of an evolving continent. The Kaer Morhen scene in the video game is in the prologue of the first Witcher game, where players must defend the stronghold from the attack of Azar Javed and the Magister. In Witcher 3, the dreaded Wild Hunt attacks and lays siege to Kaer Morhen in an attempt to kidnap Ciri. Players are also able to explore the Keep's surrounding regions and dig deeper into Witcher history. In the last few years, the Witcher universe has expanded rapidly, and with it, our understanding of Kaer Morhen. The upcoming anime film, Nightmare of the Wolf, will provide our first piece of connective tissue between the past and the present. In the anime, we'll witness the pivotal sacking of Kaer Morhen, when fearful, fanatical humans attacked the Keep. And then in season two, we see the resulting dilapidation of this siege. At the very heart of Kaer Morhen is the Great Hall, built in stunning detail for season two. We see that the Keep's tables are empty, its giant fire pit casting more shadows than light. At the center of the Great Hall stands the Medallion Tree, a mysterious and looming memorial where the medallions of fallen witchers have been hung for hundreds of years, a reminder of the brotherhood that bonds them even in death. We also glimpse the Witcher armory, full of weapons and elixirs to help the witchers defend the continent and themselves against future attacks. And those who know, know. Finally, we explore the basement lab, a pivotal place of experiment and research. The lab is also where young witchers are created, if they're lucky enough to survive the trial of the grasses. It's been an exciting journey, crafting a new piece of this Witcher world, from the page to the screen. We hope you love it as much as we do.